I can't with the diameter. What's the name of the dog? This is Amber. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm just trying to find um, where the rock got now. And um, as you can see, the weather's um, a bit bleak here, really. So um, I'm just doing my best. Sally and Jason, I think they were called. They're um, they're heading back down. Um, I mean, I was very grateful for their help. I mean, uh, so this is a path I've never been here before. So this is where Moller Rogov is up here, apparently. So I'll soon find out. But the weather's not great, and uh, the path the paths haven't been very obvious here. So there we are. Sally and Jason heading off back towards Berg Gallet. It's a nice little bridge. So yeah, they're very good at um, reading the map. Um, the couple I met earlier, to be fair. I mean, I'm not um, the greatest at that. Um, but I'm very lucky, I do know quite a lot of the mountains in North Wales, but I don't know these two. Not more than I've got in World 7, anyway. This is the top of Moyle Ogov. I'm 99.9% sure it is. 600. Been up Moyle Rogov, Moyle Hebog early, as you know. Um, there is there is another summit called Moyle Seven, but I mean, the, I knew the train was going to be like this really, and um, it's now five to five, and it's going to get dark half six. <laughs> so you know what I mean. Um, I think if I was to carry on, I'd be being I was I would be being stupid basically. The other two guys, they turned, they were being sensible, so. Yeah. yeah, if I'm honest, I don't think I'd be able to find more seven, even if I was to carry on. There's no path, and I'm not being here before, so. Yeah. Alright, this is the wall um, which Sally and Jason followed down. Um, yeah, and Sally told me to, when I come down, to follow this. This is the wall he followed down, she said, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, with, with, the, with that third summit, I mean, um, with the mist being down and me not being up there before, and the paths, this is just, you know, this kind of terrain. Um, you know, I wouldn't. I'm 99 percent sure I wouldn't be able to find that summit in these kind of conditions. You know, so um, it's, it's just sensible just to head down. <laughs> down. Yeah, I know some of you are thinking, why didn't you take a map? But I, I wouldn't have found that last summit even if I had a map. You know. Um, Right. Right. We just come to the edge of the forest. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow the edge of the forest back towards the Bevgela direction now. So I, I know where I am roughly. Um, God, 
Quadrig Bar Galette. Love Galette Forest. I'm not going in those woods this time of the day. And the Bean Blair Witch Project, if you've seen that film, you know what I'm talking about. Um, in between Moyle Hebog and Moyle Sam, you really need to do, do that when the mist is not down really, but obviously if you don't live in Bevgala, how the hell are you supposed to know if the mist is down or not, you know? I knew it was going to be dry, so I thought I'd take a chance really. Right, I'm going to cross the wall and then uh, the train gets a bit better over there. At the moment I'm just trying to get through this heather. Um, even the sheep are looking at me a bit funny now. Right. Yeah, I met the two people earlier in the video when I was when I was going up and I got to the chug point and I was coming down and uh, they were on their way up. And then what happened is um, with me going the wrong way, I was thinking I was going up Moral Rogo, but I was actually going back up Moral Headbog from a different direction. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I just stuck with them and then they decided to go, you know, down that wall and I decided to go up more than I like, so, um, this is where I am now. So, it looks as well I have to go up there, then I'll take a left, I think. I've not been lost on this, well, apart from that incident earlier, but I would have got deeper lost had I gone up to that, you know, World 7, I think. Right, that's where I was earlier, in the mist somewhere up there. That's a tree, obviously. I gotta show you that view again, it's just... Oh, amazing view, man. <laughs> right, good news. Not too far now. Just gonna follow this... Uh, wall down there and then I'll eventually um, join away where, where I went up. I've just seen a fox, I was going to film it and it just ran so quickly and um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to record it. Yeah, I know it would have been a nicer surface to walk on had I gone through the forest but um, it was half past five when I reached the edge of the forest. And uh, I've heard of people getting lost in those woods and, um, you know, if I'd have got lost in those woods, it would have got dark and um, I didn't want to chance it really. So um, I decided to stick to a route. Well, I say I know, but, you know, at least I know where I'm going. Like, um, even though the terrain's not great here, at least I'm going to get back safely. Well, I hope I haven't spoke too soon. But... Okay, good news and bad news now. Right, which one do you want first? The bad news is it's starting to rain and the good news is I'm on the joined the path which I went up. Where well, hey This reminds me of a scene from American Werewolf in London when the two American backpackers are walking down to a village um at the start of the film. <laughs> That's Bev Gallet. Moilhead Bog is still in the mist. Right. I've just seen the couple I met on the mountain going past in the car and um, I didn't recognise them until it was too late. I saw them waving so if you watch this video I'm sorry I didn't recognise you but I did wave at you when I, when I recognised you. <laughs> I'm glad you got down safely. Right, I know you won't see me because it's dark, but um, it was a good walk. I didn't make it to the third summit, but at least I'll have a better idea for um, next time uh, I plan on doing it. And I do plan on going up World 7. Bring it on, I'm coming back for you. Um, I just want to thank um, Sally and Jason from Norfolk for their help on 
getting me to Mara Lodokov, which is the second summit, which I've not been up my first time up there today. Um, so thanks for the help. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And I will be back to do Mara Tlam another day. Yeah,